Scott, I'm about to, those hands lower though. All right, at least you're trying to strike. Much better. Hit, take a step. Go get it, D! Go get it, D! Hustle back! Nice communication! Good communication! You're not a moral victories guy, but you're playing number one in the country. You had them on the ropes for well into the third quarter. Just can you talk about the way the teams fought and kept fighting this season and, and kind of what your expectations even were going into this game? Well, expect, yeah, that's I mean, the expectations were to win the football game. Yeah, that's that's what our expectations are in the game we play. You, know, you play the game to win. You don't play to come in second. You play the game to win. Brent Key will be the next head football coach for the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Uh, I'm going to link the video uh, where they announced this, or they actually showed Jay Bat. Um, informing the team, it got me straight emotional. I'll be honest with you. I think this is absolutely the right hire for Georgia Tech. Brent Key absolutely earned this. And this isn't like the Fritz thing like this. That This is officially confirmed uh, by Georgia Tech. From the mouth of Jay Bat, Brent Key is the next head coach. And I wanted to show you uh, this guy right here because I saw a video this is a video he made and he said uh, Brent Key is a lazy hire for Georgia Tech you can agree with the hire or not uh, it's not a lazy hire he's like well if uh, you know you're okay with going four and four then I guess Brent Key's a great hire and I get, like why would you not get Jamie Chadwell so he hasn't even researched that Chadwell removed his name uh, from consideration uh, so it seems like lazy reporting. Um, you can extend an apology anytime you'd like. Let's go back to what Brent Key inherited. Jeff Collins comes in, um, never won more than three games in a season. He won 10 games total in like three and a quarter years. He never won back-to-back -back games. He never beat a team that finished in the top 25, and he never won more than two ACC games. The culture was completely broken. There was no accountability. There was no discipline. Sims wanted to transfer after last year, and I, it wouldn't surprise me if Collins said, hey, you don't have to compete for the position if you stay. You just, I'm sure that was the mentality for a lot of kids. Key takes over. And, and he even acknowledges, like, oh, he, he had some upset victories. Yeah, he was three touchdown underdogs to Pitt and North Carolina, and he won both of them on the road. So he takes over. He has to completely change the culture. He has to completely change how practice is structured. He has staff turnover. Um. He has to fill positions. He, he's down automatically an offensive line coach. And, again, I know I've said it before, who thought who had Brent Key winning four games? Nobody. Nobody had Brent Key. No one projected Brent Key to win four games. All right? So we beat the number 13 team on the road. Then... Uh, we go shock Georgia for a half. And look, I'll give it to Georgia. They beat us hands down. They have a better program right now. They recruit better. Because I've seen some Georgia people chirping uh, in the comments section. Because they just can't. It tells me that they're a little worried. Well, well Kirby, Kirby's going to wipe the floor with Brent, Brent Key. You worried a little bit. That's what that is. Right? Because... Um, if I'm a Georgia guy, I would I would hope they sign Collins to a lifetime contract. I would hope that they hire one of these other guys. Brent Key is a no-nonsense, X's and O's, get it done to win. And when you heard in the press conference that I showed before, before I came on, I'm not here for moral victories. I'm here to win football games. Why show up if the goal is? And the expectation isn't to win football games. That's who Brent Key is. Um, and 
I think he is he is a good recruiter. Or he can be. He was a hell of a recruiter for offensive linemen at Alabama, um, and he had to basically survive and suffer through Collins to get where he is now. Um, I I think that this. I think he was the best man for the job. I think we hired the right guy. We'll see contract details come out. Um, I'll be interested to see. But there's other – number one, he might be able to claw back some of these transfers. I think Sims is probably gone uh, no matter what we do. And, again, uh, wish him the best. Maybe he can get McCullum to come back. Maybe he can get Ryan King to come back. Because once you enter the transfer portal, you can still – you don't have to transfer. The risk you take is that if we fill your scholarship while you're doing that, then you're, you're SOL. The other risk is there's more people that enter the transfer portal than there are positions or scholarships to be had. That's the other risk um, that you take. Um, but just go watch some clips of Brent Key talking to the team, running practices, this is a guy that knows how to win, and he's proven he can. Again, is there any other coach that takes over in the circumstances that Collins did and wins four games? He has his number one quarterback go down. Then we put Gibson in. He looks very bad. And we don't just throw in the towel and, and stay with Gibson. We get Pyron ready, pull him off the scout team, Get him ready. He goes to Virginia Tech, gets a win. He breaks his collarbone. Now we're down to quarterbacks three and four. We win two more games, go on the road, and I would be interested to know when the last team that scored on their opening drive against Georgia. I think you'd have to go well into last year to find it, and I bet that team didn't do it with their third and fourth string quarterback and all sorts of other injuries on their offensive line. If I don't even feel like I need to justify this hire. It is insane to me that that people think that this is like I mean this guy's almost acting like it's a give up. We're throwing in the towel. Um and look, I've seen some some, some Tulane fans in the comments that are that are kind of sore over my opinion of Willie Fritz and not being excited for him being our head coach. Again, we'll see. I think it takes three years to really judge a head coaching hire. Um, that's the I think the quickest you can you can judge it. Year one, you normally give them a pass. You would never fire a head coach shy of ethical issues, legal issues, something like that. I don't think – we're not even in that position with Key because look at all the things that Winky's done preparing quarterbacks. Is is there a quarterback coach in the country that can transfer the Gibson we saw against Virginia to the Gibson we saw in the last two weeks of the season? That's a hell of a job, all right? I'm not so sure. I know that a lot of people don't like uh, Chip Long. I thought we had a very good game plan going in. Um, the last few weeks of the season. I thought we were very effective at what we needed to do. We play to the strengths of the talent we have. It's not just some scripted thing we're trying to do. Andrew Thacker might be one of the best defensive coordinators in the country, in my opinion. When you look at what this Georgia Tech defense has done, what they've overcome with... <sighs> The, the circumstances our offense has put them in. Phenomenal job. Um, Andrew Thacker. So the, the point being, all of those guys I mentioned, we get to retain. All right? And look at the video where Jay Bat announces him and the reaction of the team. Brent Key is a guy that won over this team that was a dumpster fire when he took them over. That that we were just waiting for the other shoe to drop, even if, if we got ahead in a game. Brent Key won this team over. Again, watch videos of this guy and tell me he doesn't have you excited to root for, for the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. And I'll even put my money where my mouth is. And uh, I would urge everyone else to do the same. I think there's 120-something subscribers, 131. 
I'll donate a hundred dollars this week um, to this fundraising initiative that Bat is doing. Bat's looking to raise two billion. Um, that's the other thing that's going on. Uh, look, it doesn't matter to me all the craziness with this head coaching hire. It only matters that I, in my opinion, we made the right hire. We got to the right spot. Now we're gonna ha- we have an AD that is gonna give a support to a good head coach like Brent Key to get done what we need to get done. If we increase our recruiting budget and staff, we're gonna be top twenty five minimum in recruiting budget in the country per 2019. I'm sure that's what I'm basing this on. That's the last time any of this was released. Um, but I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I'll donate $100. Any other Yellow Jackets out there that are willing to donate some money to these Yellow Jackets? Let me know what you think. There's a lot of people that don't necessarily think this is a great hire. Um, I think it's... I think it's a home run. I think in in three years from now, Brent Key's third season, we're gonna be like, oh my god, we're gonna we're gonna be where we want to be. That's that's what I truly believe. So let me know what you think, um, and I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>